Yo, welcome to Feeding Time. I am the big guy Ryback and I am back today for Feeding Time Healthy Edition. I picture Healthy Edition like hitting the screen and then like Feeding Time, cheat meal. Every day is cheat meal, bitch. That's what everyone. Today, guys, I just got done with a monster chest workout. Traps fucking jacked and just can't move because my neck is so big. Um... Uh, what's it called? And then uh, one round of uh, Tabata, 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 blah, 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 Tabata on the assault bike. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off for eight rounds. And then two sets of uh, Tabata on the deadmill, that curved treadmill where you use run with your body weight. Um, 20 seconds on, 10 off, uh, eight rounds twice for two sets on that. So three really hard sets of conditioning. And uh, I was going to do four, and then I said to myself, you know what, I'm taking the dogs for a long walk to the park after this. Fuck it. So I stopped at three. Um, sometimes I do four, sometimes I do five. I've been cutting my carbs down. This is actually going to be a big carb meal today. Chipotle vegetarian burrito. A little piece of cheese. Oh, fuck. Anyways, guys, this is a this is a... Big monstrous burrito. And I'm gonna dive right in. I'm fucking hungry. Mm. Got my bite marks. We got the flour tortilla. I went with right white rice post workout. Spike that in some little bit. A little bit of guacamole, black beans, salsa, onions, uh, the, the fajita vegetables, and green salsa. Mm. Fuck. Give me a fucking minute to enjoy this, guys, please. Mm. I wouldn't even know anything's wrong in the world right now. Mm. Man, this burrito. No animals are harmed. Good day. Good day. I'm thirsty. I'm so thirsty. The conditioning. Like, I literally just got done. The Chipotle person left it at the doorstep. Came inside. Washed my hands really good after training. Threw a little water on the face to make myself look pretty for this. Obviously, you could tell. This is my first sip of water after the workout. Fuck it. Ah, I don't want to spill the burrito. Mm. Heavenly. coffee of the day here there was somebody that saw when I was doing the video the other direction I think last week I have multiple I like to save the Starbucks cups guys because it makes me feel like I'm drinking when even if I do like a decaf coffee at home I drink it out of my Starbucks cup it makes me feel like I'm drinking Starbucks 
Weird, yes. I have my glass coffee mugs. I have a whole cabinet full of different coffee mugs. But I prefer to drink them out of this. I like the little hole. I like the pace at which it comes out. Makes it last longer. I take smaller sips because I'm a big fucking guy. It's like my water jugs and I have the bigger mouth. I drink bigger gulps of water out of this, which for water I prefer. For my coffee, not so much. But I think I had four or five cups back there and somebody thought that I had drank that much coffee in the day. No, don't worry. I hope all of you are doing well. Hanging in there. Mm. Even you too, you little bitch of Jeffrey and Karen. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm a little bummed out today. I saw the um, XFL is probably going to be canceled altogether again for the second time. Real shame. Real shame. Feel bad for the players legitimately because that was a good opportunity for them, but... Overall, a real shame. I need more information. <clears throat> ah, man, just let me fucking relax a minute, guys. Little reset, uh, little burp ski. We're good to go. Jesus, I can barely fit my hands around it. That's what she said. These are these are good guys. I mean, look at how much these are big ass burritos. No more carbs for me today. Mm. The hard conditioning almost tired me out a little bit. Usually I'm super pumped. I had a really hard workout today. Just staying busy with everything going on. Morning tonight. Feed me more nutrition. Fuck. Thank you guys. It, it's been... It's just amazing, but mm. this thing is a mess. This burrito looks like it had a porn career. <laughs> Getting a little worried. By the way, I'm joking about the XFL stuff. It's unfortunate. It really is. It's because of the circumstances. It, it, you never want to see that one, despite personal feelings with anything. But I have noticed that people are starting to get a little mean. I had one woman message me on Instagram that I've like known for a bit. And she goes, hey, I watch your YouTube channel. I go, oh, very cool, thank you. She goes, you're not funny. <laughs> and I go, and I just, I go, LOL, thanks. She goes, no, no, you're really not funny. And I, and I go, well, I'm sorry you don't think I'm funny. And she goes, no, nobody thinks you're funny. <laughs> and I, 
And I, I honestly thought she was joking because she did put an LOL in there. So I'm figuring it's harmless. I'm thinking she's just flirting with me or something, like negging me. Like a guy would do to a girl. I've read those book, books many years ago. And, uh, and then she doesn't message back. And a couple days go by and I, I message her, are you being serious? And she goes, yeah, you're not funny. And then she sent me the video where uh, Dell's, DJ Dell's a sneaker addict, my editor, when I did the coronavirus, corona, whatever, fucking the, the Cardi B thing, like in the video. And she just goes, this is why I don't fuck with you. And like, she's just being mean. And I was just, uh, I go, I go, I'm sorry, whatever's going on. I go, luckily 217,000 people since, you know, some point last summer, I go, might disagree with you. I go, I don't know though. I don't know. I don't know. And, uh, and then she just said something else. And like, she's just clearly like, probably things aren't good. That's just all I could chalk it up to. Because I'm really fucking funny. <laughs> and, uh, and I was just like, all right, well, I guess I'm not talking to you anymore. Sorry. Fuck. And then another person I knew, geez, a millennial. Hold on. Mm. I never really had a lot of experience with millennials. But it's a woman I've known for a long time. Years. And she's going through a lot. You know, like lost her job and I think tensions are just rising. And and I get it. I, I, I totally get it. But like I was, I haven't done it yet, but I mentioned I was going to order KN95 mask from a supplier. And I told her I go, I'm going to give them away for free. They come in two packs um, on my website with orders. Like if you order supplements or whatever, you're going to get two masks, which they're like not as easy to come by. And they're not the N95, they're the KN95, which are not quite the N95, but they're, they're better than making even home masks and whatnot. Mm. And I said, then I'm thinking of maybe listing them on Amazon because they're reserving masks, and I think the KN95 masks are even, they're reserving them to be bought by medical people. And, but I don't know yet. And I, I just, I said to her, I go, and I might list them on Amazon. I go, I got to look at what people are selling them for. Then I go, I don't know if I'll have to sell them for whatever, $13, $14 for two packs. And I don't know if she knows how Amazon works, but they take, like they have fees. They take, they make more than you do. <clears throat> And I would be losing money overall on the thing. But the goal would be, it would be selling them with the supplements. But as a thank you for ordering during everything going on. And uh, she like just went off. And she goes, you're price gouging people? And I said, no, I go, I'm not price gouging anybody. I go, like I'm not, nothing set in stone. I'm giving them away for free on the thing. And then if I did list them on Amazon, which I'm not even sure about, but it was just an idea. And... Uh, she just goes, you think you're so privileged, you should, and I, I, I am like, it was just an entirely different mindset. I've never, and I just go, I don't know if you like know my story. Like, I go, like I've worked for everything, like I've gotten and worked very hard and I'm trying to actually do something good and I give, I donate money through Three Square, through my supplements at a stage where business wise, it would be probably wise not to do that. But I believe in that and doing that and I want to do more. And I don't know. She was just, and when I heard that, she goes, you think you're so, pri you're, she goes, you're privileged. And then she was going off on like politics and I'd never talk politics with her. I'm just like, what the fuck? Like just changing topics. And I didn't realize because I just, some things just aren't worth it. And I was just like, I wish you the best. It's just good luck with everything. Like, you're mad because, like, I don't know what, she goes, I'm doing everything I can to help, and she has it. And I've asked her to go to do three square stuff, in which she just ignored. And it's just very odd. It's very telling. And I'm just like, people like that, and I've learned as I've gotten older, you just eliminate them. 
and in this, you don't wish them any ill will. You just, whether you block them, you just move on. And I've gotten really good at that. Because that kind of energy is going to bring you down. And they don't understand what you're doing. And looking, we've got messages up. It's not a negative, it's a positive. But I think you got to be very protective of who you let around you. And I've learned that our energy is our most precious thing. But I think shit is getting to a lot of people. I know a lot of women. They're like, I feel like they're going through a meltdown right now. And I get it. But it's not like it's happening it's across the board. I'm seeing it. And like people are becoming more distant. I'm like, fuck, I hope this is really, really is uh, over with shortly. I really do. It's just, it's not good. I just think it's making people really, you know, short fused. Okay, they didn't give me any silverware, guys. It's okay, we're not gonna, but I do have to be a little piece of shit for a second. Just please, ah! I'm going to have to wipe this table down. Go. Little rice smears everywhere. Sophie, little guy, you guys want to come say hi on camera before we go for a walk? Oh, oh say hi, little guy. Daddy's just being a pig. If I was a pig. <laughs> huh? Come here, get on camera. You help the views. Put your head up. Hey, don't lick the table. Sylvie, hold on. All right. Well, you can see your little ears. Come here. Say hi to the people. Hey, guys. Come here, Sophie. Can you come up? I love you, babes. They know they're about to go for their walk. All right, done. Thank you, guys. That was... Uh, Thank you for watching that uh, pathetic display of eating. Now it's good to be able to just do videos here and bullshit. I feel like we're having lunch together. Even though it's just me talking to myself in my kitchen with a light. And a phone. It's really quite odd when you think about it. Like am I, if I was like... If I was able to, like, you know, when I die someday and you go back and watch different points of your life and it's just, like, me, a little floating angel. And I'm, like, able to come back and see videos of me just sitting there. Oh, there was dumb fuck me recording that Chipotle vegetarian burrito at 38. Good day. <laughs> uh, anyways, guys. Um, shut the fuck up and review the burrito. Um, I'm giving this, this vegetarian burrito at Chipotle. Uh, very, very, very good. You don't need meat because there's plenty of protein in this thing. Um, good flavor. Uh, it was uh, very filling. One of them is, is more than enough. I'm a fat piece of shit. Uh, so I do two. I'm giving it 4.5 stars. Thumbs up is about right there. And uh, delicious, guys. Good quality. Ingredients, I'm going to go for a nice long 30, 40 minute walk with the dogs now and tire their little Frenchie and Boston asses out so that they're calm for the rest of the day. And uh, in all serious though, guys, though, I continue to please try to be positive as much as possible and let's focus on positives as much as possible and, um, and feeling good. And, and it's okay to acknowledge the things aren't ideal and great, but let's not dwell on them because uh, at the end of the day, it doesn't help anything uh, going on and let's just try to use our minds to be uh, creative stay busy go for walks throughout the day do little things just scheduled things give yourself time to just meditate just sit there and breathe and relax and get outside as much as possible and uh, I really just stay optimistic it's all going to be good guys and uh, I wish you nothing but the best I love you guys thank you very much 
And as always, get hungry, stay hungry, feed me more. Yo, thank you guys for watching Ryback TV. If you could check out my Shooting Blanks Wrestling Report every Monday on all podcast platforms, conversation with the big guy Ryback every Thursday morning on all podcast platforms, and Feed Me More Nutrition, my personal supplement line, available on feedmemore.com and Amazon. Save 10% with discount code YouTube10 and save stupid. Why couldn't you? Almost had it. I almost had the whole video done in one take. <sighs> new customers, you can save 20% with discount code new customer on feedmemore.com. Get hungry, stay hungry, feed me more.